guys, what's up? It's Ruby. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to depop. This is going to be your ultimate guide to depopping. Everything you need to know is going to be in this video. So we're going to talk about four things, four things. The first thing we're going to talk about is the camera and the setup. And then we're going to talk about shooting your photos for your depop page. Then we're going to talk about uploading, uploading to your Depop, how to do the descriptions, how to do the pricing and all that kind of jazz. And then we're going to talk about packing and sending orders. So let's go ahead and get started. So a little bit of background. I started my Depop maybe like a year and a half ago. I actually started it around the time of me moving to London, like right before I moved to London, I did a huge like closet clean out of things I wanted to get rid of. And I gave a lot of it away to charity. And then I had stuff that I was like, maybe I'll sell some of this stuff. And I was kind of confused as to like which platform to sell it on and like how to do all these things. So I eventually decided on Depop because I heard good things about it. And once you get used to it, it's very easy and very quick and you can be very efficient with like um, uploading stuff and selling stuff really on Depop. So let's talk about equipment. So all you really need to shoot photos for your Depop page is a phone. So I'm going to be using my Google Pixel 3 XL. This is the phone that I use for all my photos on my Instagram and it is high, high, high qual. It is a great phone. I highly recommend if you're in the market for a new phone. But yeah, this is what I use. And then you don't really need to have a tripod, but if you do, it's a good option to use it to shoot your Depop pictures. So I've just got my tripod with my phone attachment. So yeah, that's basically all you need and to get started, to get shooting. So let's go ahead and get into the shooting process. So the first thing that I'm going to do is decide where I want to shoot my photos. So I think I'm going to shoot right here in this corner because the window is just here. So the light is coming in nicely. It's already like the sun is like setting at 3.24 PM. So that's great. So I have to be quick about things right now. So my mirror is here. Um, usually I will do a combination of mirror shots and then also like tripod shots. Lately I have already, like I have a lot of things that I've already shot previously um, for Instagram. So I, I've been kind of like recycling those photos and if I don't have to really shoot them again, then I'm not gonna waste time and like redo them. But anything that I have not shot, then I'm gonna do right now. So going back to the background, I'm gonna um, have like a little plant in my in the corner. So if you guys can see that plant just right here, my rack might be in it like slightly just for some color, just for some interest. I've got this plant right here that might be in the corner as well. So just make it like a nice background, just like your vibe, whatever you're going for. Even a plain background is nice just as long as you can see clearly everything, like the clothing is what you can see clearly. And yeah, that's about it for the background. So to show you guys, I'm gonna shoot some crop tops. I've got my bag of crop tops. As you can see, that I've labeled very organizedly. So I've labeled this crop top, so all my crop tops are in here. So if I make a sale, then I know where to look. I know it's in my crop tops bag, right? So this is what we're gonna go through and shoot today. So when you're shooting your Depop images, you want to be organized and methodical and efficient about it. It's all about the speed because you might have quite a lot of things to shoot, like I do, I've got a lot to shoot. So um you want to organize it by first of all categorize it as you would like tops pants jeans whatever so i'm just gonna be wearing one pair of jeans that i don't have to change just a pair of jeans that will go with all of my crop tops so i'm gonna be wearing my levi's and they are just like a fail safe um option to wear with all of my tops so that i don't have to be changing like you know everything every single time it's just like top change top change top change so that's it, right? So it's about the speed and about the efficiency. Otherwise you can waste a lot of time doing this. I'm gonna move my mirror. So here's my mirror. Um, I am just gonna mainly do some mirror shots and then for the back of like the top or whatever, I will do a tripod shot. I find that on my page, the mirror shots do better than um, like tripod shots. Like, normal camera shots so that's what I'm gonna stick to so see what works well for your page once you start just try and experiment with a few like mirror shots and then um, you know throw in a few tripod shots and see what works well what your audience likes and what sells so yeah okay so I'm in my first top it's this high neck green situation this crop top so I'm just gonna shoot a few mirror photos and where is my tripod I'm gonna set this up so that I have a very minimal, I can just like move and move. I don't have to do too, too many changes. 
So you can upload a total of four photos and you can up also upload one video to Depop. So I'm not going to be doing videos today. I'm going to take one on my tripod just at the back. Okay, so I've shot this top on my tripod. I've just done the front and this and the back and now I'm just going to shoot a couple of mirror shots and then we're done for this top as well. So now we're just going to cycle through all the tops and get them all done. So just one tip is if you're using an iPhone then you can shoot on square mode and it's best to do that because um, once you upload onto Depop it's, it's only a square. So I can't shoot on a square, not that I know of, on my Google Pixel so I just shoot on normal mode and then I can just crop it later. So yeah, but if you can avoid, you know, having to crop it then do so. <music> So I've got these two really pretty tops, this orange one, which needs to be ironed, and this pink one. But I've shot these before. Oh, look at this color combo. It's actually so pretty. Um, but yeah, I've shot these before for Instagram, so I'm just going to use those photos. And yeah, other than that, I've successfully shot all of my tops. So now I am going to go and go through them and edit them. Just like, I'm just going to see if I need to edit them. Usually if I shoot in like good light conditions and I don't do any editing to them because the only edits that I do make are to like brightness um, and I don't want to really adjust the colors of the photo because then it affects like what the clothing looks like so you want the color of the clothing to be true to what it actually is so yeah I wouldn't recommend putting it through putting the photo through too much editing anyway but if it does need like just basic changes like brightness and stuff like that then it is good to do that so we're gonna go through that right now and we'll open them up in Lightroom Okay, cool. So that now that's imported, add some exposure, bring up the shadows a bit because this is a black top. So I want you to be able to see a little bit of the print that's on it. And then I think that's about all we're going to do to it. Literally just the brightness. Then I'm going to make it a square so that it's easier for me when I upload it into Depop. This is my Depop. This is what it looks like right now. So I've uploaded a fair few things in the last few days. Um, I've sold a few bundles to people and that is why there is things that are sold, sold, sold. So there's going to be heaps more coming. The Depop is at post and repeat if I didn't already say that. But yeah, check it out if you want some stuff. So let's go to the camera icon. We're going to add four photos. So the first one, let's go with this black top first. So I'm just going to upload the ones that I already edited. So we'll go with this one first, then a side one, then a back one. Well, we might do this front one as like a close up so that you can see the print of the top. And then click OK to click the tick. We're going to describe it in a fun and enthusiastic way. We're enthused about the clothes. So I'm going to write a super cute, super cute is my favorite thing to say on Deep Depop. Super cute black crop top with um, tie back detail and adjustable straps. So anything that's like technical, like adjustable straps or like tie up shoulder straps, um, lace up situation, try to include that into the description. So this is a size six. So I usually just write the size into the description, even though there is a separate like, um, category where you have to enter the size anyway like you have to do that as part of the whole upload but I just write usually I usually I write best for size six um, and I should say best for size UK six sometimes I will give you kind of like a way to style it or I'll give you an idea so that it kind of grasps your attention a bit more amazing <laughs> amazing to pair with um, vintage Levi's jeans or a or a denim mini skirt okay and best for size six so that's a description done now you put in your location so my location is London category we're gonna choose women's wear tops subcategory crop tops usually I don't mention the brand it's sometimes if I have if I like know the brand or it's like a good brand, for example, like Levi's or things that really sell on Depop, then I will include the brand. But if it's just like something that it's not even listed on the brand section, then I won't include it. 
so yeah so add a size we're going to do six condition this is i'm going to just say used slash excellent because i've worn it a few times i have it's not overly used usually when you're doing pricing you kind of think about what you pay for the item and then if you want to if it's like very well used then you probably want to market market as a at a discount because it's probably not worth the same amount that you paid for it anymore because of the use um, that it's been put through so so this top is in pretty good condition i feel like a top like this would probably retail at 12 to 15 pounds because it's depop it'll probably be that'll be like the going price top like this so i'm gonna list it at 15 because i think it is at in a good condition so i'm gonna add the color so that's black and so for shipping in the uk i think has partnered with hermes so they've inbuilt it into the app so you can just for domestic like uk within the uk you can automatically like choose a home collection or choose a pickup delivery and then it, when you make a sale it will automatically send you the label from hermes so when i was in australia i was offering worldwide shipping but um since moving to london the options for shipping are not as cost efficient they're pretty pricey and also because of covid it takes so much longer and it's so much more expensive now so i don't automatically give you the pricing for worldwide shipping for international shipping on my page i will just i put it as a note to ask me if you want international shipping if you send me a message about wanting to ship it internationally then i'll give you the price based on the country because it's different for all countries at the moment so yeah so now we're gonna post it okay so here it is uploaded on to my depop page um it's got the description the size six condition and the price 15 pounds so yeah we'll see all done so that's the first upload that we've done so i'm just going to do that for the same thing for all of them all the ones that i've shot today and that's it that is the uploading process okay so now we're going to be packing orders so i've got these two um size bags from amazon which i ordered in like bulk for them so i'm going to use this bigger size because i'm sending off bundle orders so there's multiple items inside each order and they're probably not going to fit in that small bag so then i've also got my labels which i need to be printing on later but i'm just going to pack this stuff now and then i'm going to sort out labels in a bit so let's pack So I'm not going to seal them yet because I'm going to put a little note inside all of them. So I'm going to do all the notes at the end once I pack all of these up. I've got these note cards, which I got also from Amazon. So usually I like to write a little note um, thanking them for their purchase. Okay, so I've packed all my orders, I've put my little notes inside the parcels and I've sealed them up, done the labels. These three orders that I have to ship out are all international, so I'm going to be using Royal Mail International Shipping. And yeah, once you go on there and you can get a shipping quote for whatever country that you're shipping to and then print off the labels, all that kind of jazz, all on the website. So that is what I've done. And now they're ready to go. They're ready to go and be shipped off tomorrow. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel to see more. You can find me on Instagram, Depop. I'm back on TikTok and Pinterest as well. So everything is at Pose and Repeat. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.